uh, we expanded this with really extensive parameterization. Like for example, we could uh, we, we we have a procedural skyworks before, but now we have the sound that blends in nicely the horizon is totally parameterized. And artists could also define various post processes parameters and timelines, for example. You could change the font parameter based on the time of the day, number of the cloud shadows, and things like that. There's like lots of lots of parameters to tweak on. And we ended up uh, with no big data being baked in any way, except for the match shadows that I'm going to talk later on. And pretty much everything, everything was generated on the fly, allowing us to reuse the assets across the game world and keeping it flexible to changes to the very end, the very, the very end of the production cycle. And in this video you can see the weather system being sped up, randomizing some weather conditions, but all the weather are slides. And having the probe update was essential. Like you see on this, this armor, the, the look of highly polished metal surfaces like that depends on the environment right, heavily. And uh, in addition to our PBR transition, uh, we, we introduced a, a roughness maps. They were basically a grayscale text textures on which black represented the low roughness, so highly polished surface, and white maximum roughness for the matte surfaces, 